Welcome to the new game, Soma. Have been wanting to get into this one for quite some time, and a bit of a horror. Not sure how creepy this one gets. Hoping it's quite a bit, and looking forward to some good old scares. So let's uh, let's hit it off and not talk about it too much. Hope you enjoy. That's nothing. It's just my brain can't stop bleeding from the accident. Here, take this. No, that, that's for later, for the scan. It's green. Ashley, I need to tell you something. Simon, please don't make this weird. No, no, it's not like that. Why now? Who's David Lynch? Why is there never enough time? For what? Ah, ah. <laughs> Christ. Okay, so it looks like we had an accident. Let's just invert, because that's the way I like it. Yeah, I'm up. Hi, Simon Jarrett? Yeah, that's me. My name is David Munchie. We spoke earlier. The brain scan. I remember. Are you all right? Yeah, yeah, just a bad dream. Are, are we still on for today? Yeah, that's why I'm calling. I wanted to remind you to drink the tracer fluid I sent you. It'll help me capture a better image of the damages. Don't worry, I, I, I got it somewhere. Okay, great. Well, I'll see you in a couple of hours then. Okay, see you soon. Damages. So we had an accident. We heard that in the opening uh, video there. Ooh, bit of a small apartment. What's this? Ooh. Ah, cool. Let's turn on the light if we can. Where did I put the tracer fluid? about keys to Sim Jarrett Simon Sim Jarrett nothing good there flick over to the next one no all good nothing but fast food ooh so nice something healthier on my way home pizza's good Come on, radioactive tracer fluid, where are you? It's not in the fridge. Lots of takeaway. Any messages? Hey Simon, it's Jesse. You working this weekend or what? I knew there was something you were doing. Was it this weekend or next? Anywho, just shoot me a mail or something. Love you, miss you mean it. End of messages. Love you, miss you, man. That it. guy has the memory of a goldfish. I even sent an email to remind him, didn't I? Downtown accident kills young woman. Toronto. Yesterday, a driver distracted by her children ran a red light, causing her to blindside a car in the intersection of Bloor Street and Spadina Road. The mother and her children, travelling in a robust SUV, were left bruised but largely unharmed. The other party was less lucky. As the car crashed into the passenger side, Ashley Hall, 23, sustained devastating damages and suffocated from blood trapped in her lungs. Sounds like a bad way to go. Before the ambulance arrived, her friend and driver, Simon Jarrett, us, 26, survived but with complicated results believed to leave him with permanent brain damage. The driver of the SUV, whose name has not been released by police claims it was accident was an accident and practically unavoidable well that tends to happen if you're distracted by children which is not a good thing we got here cinema variety summer blockbuster japanimation bigger than ever massive recoil that looks a bit like mass effect Uh, 
get well soon. Love, Mum. October, October something. Seven to twelve. Hmm. From David Munchie. Thank you again for participating in our research. The scan will be performed at the Place pa Pace Laboratories in Toronto. But since we are guests, our access is a bit unpredictable. I will try to schedule a scan session for Saturday. I'll get back to you when confirmed. Sincerely, David. Uh, Aaron Peak, Dear Mr. Jarrett, I'm happy to hear your headaches have become less frequent. Your latest tests show your brain is slowly recovering, but it's still too early to tell how well it will adjust to the damage. The bleeding will continue over the coming months, at least and you will need to come in to the hospital a few times to drain the cavity to prevent the blood from building up pressure. You. Since excessive stress could be fatal, I have written you a prescription for Prazosin Prez to help with your nightmares. Please read the instructions and medical medicate accordingly. Try to get a lot of rest and I'll see you next week. Saturday off. Hi Jesse. Oh, I forgot to hit send. Oh. Since you probably forgot, here's me reminding you that I've got that doctor's appointment tomorrow, i.e. I'm not coming into work. This means you need to make sure you're actually on time to open up the store. And please unpack the boxes behind the counter. They are starting to become a workplace hazard. Also, books tend to sell much better if they are put on shelves where people are actually able to see them. Good luck, you'll need it, Simon. Let's send it. Cool. Better late than never. True. What was that? Ah, we've got a desk lamp. That's a cool little figure. Uh, got a few postcards, maybe? wonder if it's a photo of us. Dr. Aaron Peak. Might be a prescription. Robin McConnell, meet and greet books you got signing. Grimori. It's a cool picture. Let's get some light on up in here. Ooh, he's a gamer. What is that? Down the lid, boy. That went down very slowly. Huh. We can flush. Looks like shaving cream, nail clippers, toothpaste, toothbrush, nothing in here that we need. It's got to be out here, doesn't it? It looks like a camera lens. More photos. Good old coffee. A bug. A bit in the drawers. Right, clothes. be in the fridge. Nope. There it is. Huh. Let's drink it. it feels like milk, but the taste is like sucking on a penny. <laughs> the coppery. Is that all we have to do? Can we go now? Yep. Yeah, must be on our way there. 
Hello, lady in red. That's good. Is it us? Jesse. Hey, Simon. I got your email. Just wanted to wish you good luck and let you know I got you covered. Thanks. I should be able to come to the store after the scan. Don't sweat it. I got Matt and Chris help me out. Matty from SNL? Uh, guess you didn't hear. He's coming in full time, working in the comic section. That's Ashley's job. Yeah. Well, I know. Forget it. Not doing her any favors by leaving an empty spot. Not like she's coming back. Well, good luck. Hope they find a way to reverse the whole. You know, dying thing. <laughs> dying thing? You're the worst support ever. <laughs> what did I say? I'll see you later, Jesse. Don't burn the place down while I'm gone. Over and out, buddy. <laughs> the support from the friend. Stinking awful lie. Is it? Oh, I don't believe it then. Find me in a phone booth. This is a weird looking hospital. Hello? Dr. Yes. Munchie? Pitch black. Where is everyone? Thought this place would be busy. Good question. Clowns in paintings, that can't be good. In fact, it looks like they're painting the place. There you go, it's my contribution. Pinch their things, read their emails. Page 56. Improved reversed projector technique. Tweak for right length. Let's have a look. Paul, where are you? We've got a few hours. I got hold of Simon Jarrett. Let's do this. I saw your laptop in the reception. Are you already here? Call me ASAP. Get your stuff ready. Hi, Paul. Talk to Pace about using the lab this week. I have managed to book the scanner for tomorrow morning and again on Friday. It's not a lot, but they said we could use the empty reception area as a kind of office. It would allow us to use their computers to run models and also, if a time slot opens up, we can get in there and use the scanner rig right away. I thought we could run some tests tomorrow. Uh, we could do a scan of each other to learn the equipment. It's supposed to be pretty easy. On Friday, I'm hoping Dr. Erin Peake will send somebody over. She has a patient that was recently in a car crash. Should be interesting. We're locked out. I found some extra time in the lab today. Unfortunately, nobody told us about the code change, so I called security. Talk to Professor Wee to have him vouch for our project and finally got a hold of some honcho over at Pace's legal department that could re-grant us permission to use the lab. I'm not allowed to repeat the code in mails or texts, but I'll leave a note or something in case we forget. So is there a note? Surely there's a note. Maybe it's in the drawer. Trial and error. Put your scalpel away, the brain can heal itself. The brain has an amazing transformative quality, a plasticity that allows it to compensate and even heal itself, explains Paul Berg, a graduate student in neuroscience at York University in Toronto. It is this quality that Berg and his colleague David Munchie, a student of computer science, are hoping to encourage. It's about getting the brain to do the right thing. And we hope to accomplish this with simple things like exercise, therapy, and light medication. It is, uh, but Munchie and Berg are not looking for a miraculous panacea. It's about finding the optimal treatment for each patient. They start out recording something called a Nakajimi, Nakajima, neurograph. It's like a picture that indicates direction, says Munchie. Instead of a static brain scan, the neurograph can tell us where your brain is going. Huh. Very interesting. I suppose... Nope. 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 Let's leave it the way we found it. 
So is this... Uh huh. This is what we need. This is the place, right? Must code be. for. Let's just call Machi real quick. Great. Got his phone turned off. Of course. That's okay. I can figure this out. I would think there's going to be a note somewhere. Maybe in the paper basket. Nope. Where would he leave a? A note. Probably in an unlikely, bizarre place. Somewhere that we're probably not likely to look. Can't give up yet. Okay, so it's in here somewhere. It's got to be here somewhere, doesn't it? Where's a note? Nope. Is there a crumpled up piece of paper? Uh huh. Is it 2501? There we go. 2501. Yes. Done. Sweet. Monday, James G. Was that 8 to 12? Locked. Can't get in. Weird ass ice pitches. Yeah, I think we have to go there. Or there. Let's check here first. Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Steve, all day. Ooh. Is there a light switch? Thank you. Makes it less creepy. Oh, I should have stuck in the wall. Nothing in here. Couple of drills. Ten past ten. Although the clock seems to have stopped working. Okay. Ooh. Okay. No access. Oh, human being. Oh, hi. Didn't hear you come in. Simon Jarrett, right? Dr. Munchie? Well, it's uh, just Mr. Munchie, but I'm working on it. <laughs> Actually, you're helping me right now. Is this part of your thesis work? Yeah. It's a study I'm doing with my colleague, Paul Bird. We hope to design a gentle way to work with brain reconstruction to help people like you. Oh, did you uh, take the tracer fluid? Yes. Yes, I did. Great. Well, we can start whenever you're ready. Uh huh. So, what exactly are we doing? We're going to do a scan of your brain. Then we build a computer model of it and bombard it with stimuli. The program will help us to quickly iterate your treatment plan until it's fully optimized. In short, develop the perfect treatment for your condition. So it's not just a study. This will actually help me. I should hope so. Otherwise, this would be a huge waste of time. <laughs> <laughs> for you or for me? You say more? Huh? You know I have a oh, serious condition, right? You heard about the car crash, the X months to live deal? Yes, I heard. Must be hard having to hear that. As you know, it's because your brain is weakened so much that it can start to bleed every so often. And if it ever gets real bad, it will kill me. Well, we probably can't restore your brain completely, but we should be able to make those X months turn into years, decades even. If you take care of yourself and don't do anything too crazy, we should be able to get you to outlive the best of us. That's what we want. I really hope you're right about this. Me too. This could make a huge difference for how we treat people with brain damage. Doesn't seem overly so, confident. What do you say? Should we get going? Sure. Let's get started. 
Take a seat. Oh, here we go. Alright. Here we go. Shit's gonna hit the fan, I would imagine. get this out of the way. You are Simon Jarrett, correct? Right. Toronto, Canada, David Munchie. Born 1988, July 16th. Right. Flat neurograph, version 6. Good. All files in order. Will this hurt? It's just a scan. It'll hurt about as much as getting your picture taken. Indians thought cameras would steal their souls. Is that so? Well, let's hope they're wrong. <laughs> Ready? Say cheese. Jeez. Whoa. What happened? Oh, uh, what the hell? Mr. Munchie? Where is he? Did something go wrong? Also. Is there a light switch? This isn't funny. Ooh. What the hell? This isn't where we were. What the hell is this place? How did I get here? Unlock terminal from service console. Figure this out. I just uh, need to stay calm. Service console? No service console. There we go. Insert Omni tool. I don't have an Omni tool. Suppose we must find one. This is creepy. Mm. Can't get out. So, where's my Omni tool? It. Come on, where are you? No, no, no. Should put on one of those suits, though. Electric hazard. Maybe we can bust out of here. Ooh, I don't know if it's good or bad. Well, that gives us access, so it's good. rather tense already. What is this? A washroom of some sort. Goopy. Wouldn't mind a coffee right about now. Just makes me want a coffee. Where's my Omni tool? This is so good so far. I can see it potentially getting very creepy. So what do we have? Thermal plant, break room, tech depot, depot, robot dock, robot dock, service station storage. Okay. Interesting. Oh, 
Interesting. Oh, what's that? Something's going on. There's an Omni tool. That move. Ooh. This is creepy. Pathos two, Upsilon. Hello. Meant to do that. Let's try again. Hey, you. Can you talk? Can you talk like the others? Why are you like this? You want some structure, Joe? Yeah, you do. So weird. Doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna shut you down now, okay? Yeah, you're creepy as hell, so I'm gonna shut you down. It is rather creepy. Don't tell me I'm some sort of robot now. Transferred consciousness or something. Whoa. Just want an omni tool. Uh, was that open before? I don't think it was. with this one? Nope. There's a lock. Oh shit! What? What do I want to hide? Being noticed. By who? Jesus! Don't know if I wanted to do that. Oh shit! I didn't want to do that. Or did I? What the hell? It just happened. My goodness. Omni tool. I think. Omni tool 2.5. The Omni tool is an advanced interface for accessing, managing, and controlling computerized systems. The onboard intelligence includes an open set of behaviors and protocols to ensure the user to automate routine actions through basic logical charts. Sorry, it's a bit hard to read. 
Over time, the OmniTool will automatically adapt its programming to cover subconscious behavior to optimize work and minimize user error. The, op the OmniTool has a short range signal useful for basic automated actions such as opening doors while performing complex operations. The OmniTool should be physically connected to a workstation terminal. To upgrade your device, simply slide operators into the main or the auxiliary slot. The main slot has a standard C1121 connector, which allows the user to fit most... Most what? Markets? No. Cortex chips into the OmniTool. Note that introducing an additional AI will override the onboard intelligence. The auxiliary slot is a multi-connector fitting a large range of tool chips models including but not limited to A1, A2, Haiti and JUC11 hmm. oh, got it help Jane let's have a look The hell? It's like a body with no head. Tins of stuff, scissors, nothing too special. Ooh, so I suppose we head back to the other room. Need to keep quiet. I would possibly think so. I have no idea if there's things around here. Potentially. Dark. Right, that's where we came out. Oh. Right, reading. Service console up to room three, including pilot seat activated. System status. Whoops, get back there. Progress. Okay. Unlock toolbox. Welcome back, Louise Miron. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition but not fitted with a tool chip. Note that without a tool chip, your F. ST kit will be unavailable, including your cross-site security access. To continue using your designated privileges, please insert a tool chip and run an update. Hmm. Uh, it's the same. No, it's not. Your Omni tool is in perfect condition, but not fitted with a blah, blah, blah. You are currently being serviced by the default onboard intelligence helper Jane. Ooh, we got asked to help Jane. Note that installing a Cortex chip will override the helper and may severely alter your user experience. Hmm. I know they told you that field technicians would get full access throughout Pathos 2. I'm here to tell you that's not going to happen. Don't get me wrong, I don't want to get in your way. We need you guys to keep this place up and running, but there needs to be at least some level of security on these things. I don't want to hear you barge into some quarantined area at Omicron and just knocked out the whole place with some virus or whatever the hell they're doing over there. This is what you can do. You'll be able to use it to open doors, basically all of them. If you can't, there's something wrong or someone didn't want you in there. Then what do you do? 
You shove that Omnitool into a terminal and see if you can't get around it somehow. I mean, sometimes you'll need to get into places where you don't belong. Just find a way. You're an engineer for crying out loud. What else? Take care of your gear. Don't be an asshole. That's about it, really. My name is John Strohmeyer, Pathos 2 security operative. I got an office at Theta. Come see me if you got any issues you can't handle yourself. Good luck. Hmm. I guess we're going to see John at some point. Uh, inventory nothing. Whoops, we've done that. The rest is... okay. Ooh, good mean to duck. How do we get it out? Can we get it out? Yeah, I help a Jane. Mm -hmm. Okay, looks like we're supposed to do something. Manage the chip. How do we update it? Oh, do we have to find a chip? Chip not inserted. Okay. Guess we're off to find a chip. What's this? Yeah. Pilot seat 3, Upsilon. Construct network. No fire pilot found. I really don't know what we're doing. In progress. Oh. Okay. Nothing. Simkin reported uncharacteristic levels of nausea after the mission. Diagnostics show a spike of electromagnetism surrounding the pilot helmet, which is believed to be the cause of Semkin's symptoms. No indication to what created this anomaly. The pilot system has become increasingly unreliable. Everyone who's been using it the last couple of months has been given headaches and spells of nausea. Last week, Gavin was knocked out for 30 hours while trying to direct a helper cluster. This is not acceptable. We will figure this out, but for the time being, I'm shutting down the usage of the pilot system. This means you will have to do some more heavy lifting, performing the operators through programming or physical labour. No one is happy about this, so don't bother complaining. I'm not sure where we go now. Do we have... Shouldn't we be picking it up? No. Nope. Hmm. Maybe we have to find a chip. I don't want to leave it if we need it. Can't see a damn thing. There's no lights or anything. Shit! Fuck this. Can't get through. Of course, we're probably going to have to go down underneath that. Ah, need our Omni tool. Let's go quietly. in case we alert something. Sort of 
du. Ne. This is all a bit creepy. Oh, we're on the other side now, I think. Yep, there's the hanging one. We got scared over by that door, which has now been torn open. Maybe we come back in here. There was nothing in here. We need an Omni tool chip. See a damn thing. This is so weird. Surely I'm just missing something in that room. They're having a really hard time getting the doors open. Call Permaseal as many as you can, rather than not take any chances. Roger. Did you cut off the factory floor? All done. Should keep most of them out. I'm on my way to lock off the comp center. Just make sure to leave a way out of here. Trust me, I'll get you the data safe and sound. We just need to make sure we leave enough power running so we don't have to return. I hear that. See you back at camp. Keep them out. Oh, for goodness sake. Just found it. Tool chip found. Alright. There we go. Took me a while to find that. Tool chip security cipher. Updated. Sweet. Okay. So now we know. Ooh, different area. There's a door right here. Color, bit of green, and we're underwater. Feels very Bioshock. Wow. Someone's doing some drawings. Ooh, I like that one. Huh. Ooh. Back and different. Thick structure gel they can't shake. Wow's well WAU's freaky fish. Hmm. Plastic bottles. Whatever. Seal that thing and get back to camp already. 
psychotic machines, lovely. How the hell did we get here? Or is this a device of our own making? Maybe we're still in the machine and the doctor's scanning us. Don't know. Ooh. This might be a good spot to leave it. Bit of colour before we dive into what could possibly be the depths of hell. Uh, I think we'll end episode one here. Access granted. Cool. I look forward to continuing because that looks like a nice last hope. Good vision. Before we head into that. See you for the next one.